guys, NHL Morning Skate Time. I need your DFS and Sportsbook previews of tonight's four-game NHL slate. So, Paul, hit me with your favorite top price play for DFS. Well, I'm not going to take the very top guys because I want to get two of the higher-end guys in here. So I'm going to give you three names, and you can pick any two, and that'll be the core of your group. So beginning with Miko Rantman, he gets a great matchup in Seattle tonight, $7,800 a Price tag on him. Three goals, 13 points in his last 10 games played. Playing on the big line, they should have a big night against a team that is count the days to the end of the regular season. Patrick Kane against Arizona also looks like a points night for the Chicago veteran. He's been a consist, as consistent as your clock every day. He piles up the points on a regular basis. He's got 10 in his last 10, better than a point per game on the season. He's pouring a lot of shots on goal, so I like the opportunity for him to pad those numbers against a very bad Arizona club. And finally, Jack Eichel in a game that Vegas has to have. How many times have we said that in the last two weeks? They're in against Washington. He, he only cost $7,300. He's leading the offense, though, for the, the Golden Knights. 42 shots on goal in his last 10 games played, and that's translated into six goals. He's going to need to score tonight, maybe more than once, to help them win this game. All right, AJ, what do you think? Who do you want to spend your money on in DFS? Well, of all the top price options, I'm actually going to look at the blue line and look at Cal McCarr for 8K. I think Paul mentioned the matchup here with Seattle. And so getting McCarr makes a lot of sense tonight. He's got eight points in his last six games, along with 20 shots and 10 blocks. The Kraken's penalty kill is averaging just 75.4% efficiency this season. It's in the bottom 10 of the league. So this is a good opportunity to get as much of that power play for Colorado as you can. Makar is significantly more expensive than the next blue liner, uh, Alex Petrangelo, who comes in at just 6400 But I think he's worth the price difference here. Paying up for Colorado, I think, is a good strategy tonight. Nazem Kadri is expected to be back in the lineup. He comes in at 6800 another good option there as well. But I think it's a, a, a prime opportunity to pay up for your blue liner tonight. Should have known you were going to pay up for a defenseman, AJ. It's like your thing now. It's your signature. All right. What about my new your... go-to, yeah. Yeah. Hey, we like it. Uh, what about your best value play, AJ? Well, look, if you're going to get a bunch of these Colorado guys in, you have to find value towards the bottom of the price range here. And I think TJ Oshie at 3200 is a good spot to pick. He's set to be on that top line with Alexander Ovechkin and Evgeny Kuznetsov here. He's got two goals in his last four contests with 10 shots over that stretch. Again, you can't undersell the value you're getting when he's playing alongside Ovechkin. So 3,200 is too good of a spot to price. On the other side of that lineup, I like Chandler Stephenson for 3,500 with Vegas. Uh, he's going to get the opportunity to play with Dadnov and Pacioretty. Again, not super productive lately, but in a really good spot. So anytime you're paying 3,500 or less for a top six guy with good partners, I think you're you're looking at you know fantastic value here. All right, Paul, we need some value. Where are you looking for it? Well, I'm looking at one of the games that should be the game of the night. Maybe Dallas and Edmonton. Tyler Sagan on one side for $4,600. He's got eight points and 38 shots on goal his last 10 games played. And Ryan Nugent Hopkins, who's been a real key to Edmonton's offense of late, $4,200 his price tag. He's got three goals and six points in that, his last 10 starts. I think both these guys will figure in to the scoring that what should be a very high scoring and entertaining game. And then back to Colorado, I go for that mismatch. I look at Andre Burkowski playing second line minutes, also getting looks on the power play. Should be active based on the mismatch that, that uh, AJ implies with the special teams there as well. Four goals, 11 helpers, 26 shots on goal for Burkowski. And I think he pads those totals tonight. All right, Paul, how about your favorite player prop on the sports book? Uh, Connor McDavid, you could get over one and a half points here for plus 100. Yeah, I think that's a good call, Jesse. And uh, I'm going to say back to the, some of the names I've mentioned earlier, too. I'm looking at Sagan and Burakowski each to score a goal. They'll pay off at plus 250 and 215, respectively. And Ovechkin's at eight, 48 goals. You can't tell. He, he, he's not looking for two goals tonight. I say he gets at least one, and that'll pay at plus 110. All right, AJ, where are you going for your favorite player prop? I'm going to go to that Colorado matchup. I mentioned how Seattle's been struggling on the penalty kill. Meanwhile, Colorado has a top five power play. So basically, for player props, I like this entire first unit, really, to get a power play point. You get McCarr comes in at plus 160, Rantanen at 135, McKinnon at 135. If you want to get a little bit riskier, 
You could look at Lekkonen at plus 290 or Nushkin at plus 260 to get a power play point. But just be careful on those last two. One of them is likely going to get bounced for Nazem Kadri in that number one spot. So I would only take one of those guys um, and then Kadri for, for a power play point as well. All right, AJ, take us home with your best puck line or money line bet. Well, look, Paul mentioned it. we've been talking about every night seems to be a must-win game for the uh, for the Golden Knights here. And Washington, meanwhile, is 7-3 and three in their last 10 contests. So I'll take Ovechkin in the Caps at plus 120 tonight. I think you could make a decent argument that Washington should be favored in this one. So getting plus value on the money line here to get uh, to take the Caps to win this one is too good to pass up for me. All right, Paul, where are you going? I love that call, AJ. I'm also looking at that Dallas-Edmonton game. Uh, like I said, we're talking about the two games of the night, one he covered and the one I'm talking about now. Dallas on the money line plus 145, I think, is the call. They've got a much better defensive structure, and I think that's going to be a, the difference in this game. Edmonton's played well of late, but I don't think they're up for a challenge from a more structured Dallas team. And then I'm going to give people a reason to watch Chicago versus Arizona. Who else is going to care if they don't put money on this? Puck line minus 1.5 for a plus 155 payoff for the visitors tonight.